Fujifilm, for God's sakes, I'm begging you, please make a monochrome camera. When I actually say that, I'm lying because you don't actually have to make a monochrome camera. Fujifilm could take an existing camera. There's even a company that's only got two employees and what they do is they retro scrape. They literally scrape the color filter array off existing sensors like old uh, Fujifilm X-Pro ones. Fujifilm could take an existing camera like the X-E2 or X-E3. Only thing they would have to do is juggle around the menu system since you don't have issues with color balance. And um, remove the color filter ray when they're ordering, say, 10,000 sensors. Wait, wait, you know, Fujifilm announces monochrome XE2. It's going to be the XE2M for monochrome. It would be so simple. They would have almost no money in the design, research, and implementation of this. It would re not require a new camera at all. Fujifilm, let's, now Fujifilm knows this, you guys don't. There are only two avenues of getting a true monochrome camera, a true one. Um, uh, I think the current price is like uh, $9,000 on a Leica M monochrome. You can get a Type 2 for like 6000 Well, actually, the cheaper ones are like 4000 bucks on eBay. Yeah. And the other option is a $52,000 um, 150 megapixel phase one. Now you should ask yourself this because most of you, because everybody's going to think in their head, you know, what's the difference between monochrome and just shooting in black and white or doing a black and white conversion? The answer is there is a huge, huge difference. When you remove the color filter array off the sensor, this is not a Fujifilm sensor, by the way, i.e. a Sony sensor, right? When you remove that color filter array, be it bare or X-trans over top of the sensor, magic happens. And by the way, this is absolute proof of the existence of what people call micro-contrast. You know, if micro-contrast didn't exist, then phase one would not sell a $50,000, I think it's $52,000, monochrome uh, back. They wouldn't. That's not the camera, that's just the back. You know, by the way, if you ever get into a fight with somebody about uh, micro contrast, just say, you know, if micro contrast didn't exist, then Leica wouldn't make a monochrome camera. Was that just a gimmick? You know, just black and white only. Leica does stuff like this. Like, no. Have you ever seen a true monochrome image from a phase one? Have you seen none? Have you seen it? It's crotch melting, unbelievable. It will blow your socks off. There is no competition out there. A $52,000 phase one back is not competition. No. There's like a dozen people on this earth that own one of those. Neither is an $8,000 plus, even $4,000 used, like a monochrome. There's no competition. Fujifilm would have the entire market cornered. People would realize for the first time, like, well, who wants to just show a camera that only shoots black and white? You have never seen a true monochrome image. Now, I had borrow of a, a, a Max Max conversion camera, and they're not cheap at all. He actually tells me for every three sensors he scrapes, um, he only is able to get out one sensor undamaged. Um, but that's kind of, I don't want to say half-assed monochrome conversion, because it really is, because those cameras actually have serious issues with flare. You can't even get anywhere near a bright light source. Because because there's no micro lens array on top of it. To remove the color filter array, he also scrapes off the micro lens array, and this that's it's really important to have that on there. Oh my god. Also, too, most people don't realize that there's two filters on top of their sensor. Every color camera's got two filters. There's the color filter array, whether that's X trans or bare, and then there's that other filter. That bluish green looking thing when you look at your sensor, that's not the sensor, that's the IR hot filter. Yeah, because all these uh, silicon wafer lithography sensors, be it uh, Nikon, Canon, Sony, blah, blah, they're all the same. They're sensitive to ultraviolet, infrared. That's the reason why there's an IR hot filter in front of those sensors. Fujifilm for a very short while, and it was only for police officers and law enforcement, 
they sold a uh, infrared camera, and you know what it was? It was an infrared X-T1. It was the X-T1 IR for infrared. It was exactly the same thing as a damn X-T1, except it didn't have the IR hot filter on it. Um, unless you have seen a true monochrome image, don't even comment. Well, I know I can get the same thing by converting my color pictures to mon... No, you, you can't. You absolutely can't. It's not possible. You can't get there from here. You actually can't add information in post-production, be it Lightroom or Capture One, that was never captured to begin with. It's not possible. I could drag some sliders. Yeah, you can drag sliders, but you can't add information in post-production. It's not possible. And by the way, you know, as the secondary aspect of this video, just thinking off the top of my head, it's like, you know, that's also the, the perfect reason to give anybody that the, the micro contrast doesn't exist. Uh, it's really should be called image fidelity. But if any, if any, there was a premise for telling, yeah, it does exist. It's the fact that monochrome sensors are crotch melting and mind blowing. The images that they produce, you take a high transmission, low element count, perfect lens, and you stick it on a uh, camera with the uh, no color filter array. Fujifilm, for God's sakes, please, for God's sakes, would you please? Because the idiots at Nikon and Sony and Canon are never gonna do this, never. They, they just don't, they're not smart enough. And it would not require the manufacture of a new camera. It would only require a menu modification, you know, like remove white balance and, you know, stuff like that. And it would require ordering, you know, 10 or 20,000 sensors uh, from Sony. Like, hello, Sony. Yeah, on the next 10,000 sensors, don't put a color filter array on them. It's not that difficult. Fujifilm, you could jack up the price on the same damn camera by like two, three hundred dollars It's like the Fujifilm XE3M. M stands for monochrome. You would have the market cornered like you do for medium format. People... There are enough people out there with the brains to know what the hell a true monochrome camera is because they're crotch melting. They're beyond incredible. The images from same. Oh God, I wish Fujifilm would listen. Please, Fujifilm, please. Please. Please listen, Fujifilm. Damn it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fujifilm.